in three days, Allie and I are taking this trip. So in honor of doing that, I wanted to give you three tips on how I pack a camera bag with film and a camera and three tips on traveling with something like this. So if that interests you, stick around because I'm gonna show you how to do this. So one of the things that I think about is the fact that compatibility is a main feature of things that I want in a camera bag, especially for a trip. So this one specifically is a Canon A1. Now this is a great film camera and I think it's really fun because you get the old school wind and click and you get a lot of great photos out of it. It has a 51.8 on it, which is really nice. It's just generally a great film camera, but not one that's great for compatibility. It has an FD mount, which is the before the EF mount. So in that case, this camera is pretty much as it comes and I have nothing else to use with it. Instead, I want to show you what I'll take for my 35 millimeter camera. Let me show you. So the EOS 3 has been seen on this channel before, but what's really cool about this one is that it's the EF mount. It's 35 millimeter, which we all like, and it's just simply a great camera. But for me, what makes this a great option for 35 millimeter is the fact that it has the EF mount ability. So I can natively switch between uh, the EOS R that you're seeing this on again, and then this camera. So I can take two lenses essentially for one camera or for both cameras. And the in, it, it's just a great idea. Let me show you the two lenses that I've got packed just to give this example. Now the lenses that I have here are the 51.2 and then I have the 85.18. Both of these have the EF mount like we talked about and they have similar uh, thread sizes. Not necessarily the 85 and the 50, but because I use these two the most, everything that I have for this one will also work for this guy down here because it's able to be adapted. So I just have more things because this is something I use the most because I use it with the cameras that I use the most. So in that aspect, that's why this guy's gotta go. Okay. So the third thing that I have when it comes to actually taking film on a trip is the fact that you want to make sure that you're hand checking your film as best as you can. Basically what this is is that you're gonna take it out of your carry-on and hand it to the TSA agent for them to swab as they wish just to make sure that it doesn't go through the scanners. Now you'll see those signs inside the airport that say under 800 ISO is A-OK, -okay. but in this case, a lot of these manufacturers have already tried that, and some of your more uh, like susceptible film stocks, like this 800 Cinestill T, in that case, these are ones that are probably gonna end up with some sort of small defect, like fogging over time if it's ran through a lot of different scanners. So in that case, always ask for a hand check. That way you can make sure that they're gonna check it by hand, it doesn't go through the scanner, then you can put it right back into your pack there and then move on through the airport. Base fog is a real thing, in my opinion, and of course, over time it accumulates. So keep that in mind. Okay, and one last thing is safety and security. This is like a bonus, but a lot of the times this kind of gets overlooked, so I wanna make sure that I mention something like this. These are just Apple AirTags. If you haven't seen them before, I'm probably sure you have. They look like little buttons. They have just the little watch batteries in them. Super simple, super easy. But safety and security, when you're talking about taking a lot of gear with you around an airport and around a trip like that, you wanna make sure that you're keeping Keeping it safe. So because I have four, I have one for each camera bag, so my camera bag or anything that Allie takes, and then also the luggage, and then her piece of checked luggage. So in that case, each bag will have its own, that way we don't have to worry about when we go through the airport and we have to keep up with bags and stuff like that. I don't know if this is like a, an end-all be-all like kind of example or anything that's gonna like safely confirm that everything makes it onto the airplane or makes it off the airplane or anything like that, but it's just one more peace of mind in my opinion. So that is the bonus I have for you on this one. Those are the three things that are probably the most important that I can think of off the top of my head for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like this kind of video. If you did, let me know. There's well, like a thunderstorm going on outside, but I wanted to make something really quick before Allie and I headed out on our trip in just a couple days. So I appreciate you checking this one out. 
Thank you so much. If any and all of these tips kind of resonate with you, make sure to leave me a comment down below. And I can't wait to show you guys what I ended up getting when we get back. For now, peace out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.